Hello viewers, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Lex Tech. Did you watch the latest Avatar, The Way of Water? The extraordinary motion capture, CGI, and use of the latest technology have contributed the best to make it a remarkable piece of art. In this video, we will be talking about the amazing technology behind Avatar 2, Motion Capture. Motion capture, or mocap, is a method for recording the motion of people or things. Early in the 1990s, the phrase was first used, although 3D scanning had existed before. Mocap technology is frequently utilized in video games and animation to produce lifelike motions for characters and other objects on screen. Because motion capture, 3D scanning, and other terms are frequently used interchangeably, it might be confusing. However, the term mocap itself refers to a method that makes use of cameras and sensors to capture real-time footage of performers moving around. The performers don unique outfits with camera-tracked reflective markings. To generate digital avatars or animations, the recording is then converted to digital format and input into a computer. By the way, don't forget to please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. The Black Hole, a 1979 movie by Walt Disney Pictures, included an animatronic robot named Maximilian as one of its primary characters. Using motion capture technology, animators may capture human performers' actions and imitate them on digitally created figures. Over the past few years, motion capture animation has been used in numerous Hollywood films, but it has also appeared in video games where it is referred to as motion captured animation, sports broadcasts where it is referred to as player tracking, and even in medical research where it is used to examine how people walk. It has many additional applications outside of only bringing fantasy realms to life. Just think of how much more lifelike Lord of the Rings characters appear when compared to the Smurfs' cartoonish animals. Motion capture technology is occasionally mistaken for rotoscoping, where live-action film is traced, or voiceover animation, although these are completely distinct techniques. Mocap employs cameras and sensors to capture an actor's facial emotions and movement. The movement of CG figures in films, video games, and other media is then created using the information. The performer dons a special outfit coated in reflective marks or balls that catch the infrared light from the cameras with unique construction. The cameras record the actor's motions, which are later translated into a 3D model. The model created by the computer may then be animated to match the actor's performance. Since then, more than 300 motion capture films have been produced, including Lord of the Rings, Kung Fu Panda, and the Harry Potter series. Avatar is just another finest sequence of motion capture films. Visuals Brilliant directors and huge budgets supported films like Fury Road and Avatar. But when not done correctly, CGI frequently ends up looking clumsy and unnatural in low-budget movies or movies for which producers seek to spend as little money as possible. Most of the time, visual effects artists are not at fault. The business model is the issue. A studio may hire a visual effects company as part of a fixed bid to produce 500 shots for $10 million at the start of a movie's production. It's time to give recognition to the person who captured Avatar 2 in beautiful 3D IMAX. I'm not referring to the powerful James Cameron either. Cameron used a 3D rig created by Australian director of photography, Paul Ochtel ACS, for the underwater scenes in Avatar 2. One might say that Cameron has been waiting for someone to develop the necessary cinematography technology to capture underwater pictures intended for enormous displays like IMAX. We won't be overstating it if we claim that Paul was instrumental in the creation of Avatar 2. Paul Octal ACS is a physicist, investor, and director of photography. He has spent a lot of time developing large screen filming techniques. Paul is the owner of Octel Pty Limited, an Australian business with a focus on all assets of film production and innovative cinema technologies. His most recent inventions include the specialized Octel 97 digital cinema camera for VFX, VR, giant screen, and IMAX film productions. The camera provides uncompressed 16-bit raw video up to 11 gigabytes, almost 20 times more than other high-end digital cinema cameras, and has a 4 to 3 aspect ratio sensor with 65 million picture shots. Underwater Shooting The 3D underwater beam splitter, known as DeepX3D, which Paul developed in 2015, was the technology that James Cameron opted to employ in Avatar 2. 
Why? As one of the few solutions available, DeepX 3D offers underwater 3D IMAX picture. Free from distortion, aberrations, and artifacts, Paul claims that filming underwater, particularly in 3D, presents a variety of difficulties. Here is his justification. Underwater filming has always presented hurdles in comparison to shooting on land. However, it goes beyond simply keeping the camera dry. The optics are the most challenging part of underwater videography. It turns out that it is the most important element restricting the quality of the images when recording beneath the waves. The state of the art for many years was to conceal flat and dome ports with conventional lenses made for filming on land. The picture quality that can be attained when utilizing housed lenses is significantly limited by aberrations, image plane curvature, and distortions created by those ports. Despite the fact that this seems like a suitable option, Resolution Restrictions When used with wide-angle lenses, dome ports caused astigmatism and image plane curvature when submerged. Images are severely blurred as a result of this. Such devices are only capable of providing about 2K equivalent sharpness under perfect circumstances, approximately 1,000 line pairs per picture width. The high-resolution camera standards of today are vastly exceeded by this. Even less effective are flat ports. A flat port causes significant chromatic aberrations, pin cushion distortions, astigmatism, and typically unfavorable picture magnification, while having no impact out of the water. A flat port restricts picture sharpness to about 1K standard definition quality for wide-angle imaging. A dive mask is an illustration of a flat port. Even though it could be captured with an 8K capable camera, a lot of underwater material that is advertised as being 4K or 8K is really only capable of being about high definition quality or less due to its optics. Deep X The first stereoscopic 3D camera system in the world, Deep X 3D, uses submersible lenses to capture stereoscopic 3D pictures without any compromises. Deep X 3D is totally submerged in water in contrast to previous underwater 3D beam splitter systems that conceal a beam splitter behind a flat port. A broad field of view, zero geometric distortions, and zero chromatic aberrations are all possible with this innovative design. Almost infinite sharpness is offered from corner to corner. The only underwater 3D technology that produces immersive high-definition stereoscopic visuals is DeepX 3D. Compared to conventional enclosed systems, it provides better information by more than an order of magnitude. DeepX 3D delivers photos that significantly outperform those from traditional camera systems, yet weighing less than 30 kilograms and being manageable by a single shooter. Octel's new camera system creates images that meet and exceed the 4K standard of today's giant screen technology. Using dedicated and optically matched underwater lenses and a special formulation of reflective material developed for the beam splitter mirror that evenly splits the highly polarized ambient light underwater. Sony Collaboration With its gripping narrative, immersive 3D, and breathtaking cinematography, the 2009 release of the original Avatar movie, which was also shot on professional Sony cameras, shattered box office records. With improved special effects, more complex production needs, and difficult live-action scenes, the visual quality of these most recent entries in the franchise will be substantially higher. Lightstorm asserts that the Sony Venice camera technology was the best option for carrying on the Avatar tale and providing viewers with a totally unique experience. Director James Cameron remarked, The Venice camera gives the most astounding image I've ever seen. The blacks are rich, deep, and velvety, while the highlights and source lights are astonishingly brilliant. We now fully understand the meaning of the term high dynamic range. Although I've liked using Sony Cine Alta cameras for the past 19 years, Cameron continued, I'm definitely looking forward to shooting Avatar 2 and 3 with a new Venice camera. In order to tailor Venice to Sony's unique requirements, Lightstorm and Sony collaborated extensively, and regular meetings between Sony's technical team, James Cameron, and his production teams were held. The Sony Lightstorm partnership, which started in 1999, led to the creation of a special extension mechanism that enables the camera body to separate from the actual image sensor block. For Venice, a similar strategy was used to connect each sensor and camera body via a wire at distances of up to 20 feet without compromising image quality. Just as the technology is evolving, so is the quality of movies and cinema at large. That's all for today. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more content.